Hello, everybody. Welcome to Valorant Week 3 of the NECC regular season. I am your host for this evening, Mark Link, the Director of Esports here at the University of Mary Washington. And we have quite the battle tonight between the undefeated UMW Eagles and the New Jersey City University. This is their A team, and the maps for tonight are going to be Attack Side Pearl. It is also going to be defense side ascent. And if it gets to game three, it will be defense on Haven. I want to go ahead and thank everybody for tuning into the stream tonight. We are super excited to bring you Valorant head-to-head -head action. And with that being said, we are going to go ahead and transfer over and get ready for agent select. And we are ready to get started. We are going to have UMW on the side of attackers, and we are going to have NJCU on the side of defense once again. Thank you, everybody, tuning in for this best of three match this evening. Super excited. We got some big news within the esports program this week. And uh, specifically for all those watching this evening, you might have a, uh, a little surprise in store for you in terms of in terms of uh 
we will be announcing or potentially leaking our third game that we will offer a competitive roster for starting in the spring. So stay tuned for that in between rounds. But for now, Choose here we go. And it does look like it is going to be the Astra, which is a definitely good smokes on the side of Pearl. We'll say that Astra in the meta currently has definitely been underutilized in terms of her play. However, slowly finding her, her kind of niche and, and slow way back in with time. We'll have to see how UMW decides to defend on Pearl. Might be a pretty stock standard start here, but we will have to see. As we start off on round one, pistols. Our UMW roster for this match is going to be Colby on the Viper, Mason on the KO, Xander on the Fade, Jack on the Chamber, and last but not least, Charlie on the Phoenix. Double duelist here on the side of UMW could look to potentially play aggressive, and we will see how that plays out. And it does look like it's going to be a mid-take here in terms of for some control on the side of NJCU. KO knife is going to be thrown at potentially one spotted. Does look like it's going to be early aggression, and it is going to be the defensive side, finding two to start. The push-up on the side of UMW, costly for sure, but a good play for the aggro aggression on the side of the defense. That is going to be Z finding a pick through box as Jack looks to potentially take first contact. This is the first match we've played in competitive collegiate scene since the Pearl change. And we will have to see how they choose to, and it is the full flank that does come out. Jack is going to find one, but unable to find the second. Is going to find another, but that is going to be the pistol round going over on the side of the defense. UMW unfortunately losing two too early here in the beginning of the first round going into the second. Love the transitions and layouts. Thank you, Volves. We appreciate that. And also, shout out to Scout Black, first time chatter. Keep up the good work. We appreciate that. We're working hard to make our stream the best quality possible. And we appreciate all of you guys for doing taking some time out of your Monday night. We know it's not Monday night football, but we love it just as much here at the University of Mary Washington. Does look like it's going to be some aggression again. None is going to be found as of yet. Potentially look to be a flash out. They are going to potentially find one, and that is going to be an SMG that has been gathered a quick trade out as well, and that is going to be some some guns secured on the side of UMW. So you potentially looking to grab that gun, but wants to make sure they got a smoke for him just in case they're sitting one art. And that is going to be a bulldog secured. Could be a potential round conversion now. Does look like the boys are going to potentially opt for long with the bulldog range advantage. There is going to be both an Ares and a Scout on the side of the defense. But it does look like the Viper Wall is going to come out and the boys are going to commit for this. Thirty seconds left. Ooh, the Ares is going to be able to find one through the smoke. It 
does look like it's going to be a default plant. We're going to try our best to have Z hold. He's going to find one, potentially a second. Oh, but the scout is going to land. We're going to quickly be on board. Oh, and a quick headshot picked up onto Charlie. But overall, a great eco round, both bomb down and three damaged. As we go into round three here, should be looking to be the full buy on the side of UMW. And of course, the bonus round. Does look like UMW is going to line up for the A side here. It does appear to be stacked, however. Shouldn't matter much in terms of the rifle advantage. We'll have to see how they choose to take the close range aggressions. And only moments before disaster, but it is going to be the double collat headshot on the side of Swahili. We do have numbers and we also do have ultimate, but it does look like Charlie is going to opt to heal instead. As Colby is going to go ahead and secure a site and potentially play for the post plant. Okay, coverage is going to come out in terms of getting Colby off of site. I is not going to spot anyone. As we do look like we're going to be playing some lineups here. Jack is going to find his one. And it is going to be the Decay and C's coming out. Flash is going to find one. EP is going to come away. It's going to find one, but Colby is going to trade quickly. And that is going to be the third round secured on the side of UMW. Good job, boys. Does look like mid control is going to once again be taken on the side of UMW. Boys are looking to pre fire, knowing that some of this early aggression has come in previously. Does look like it's going to be Charlie, potentially moments from disaster here. But it is going to be Chamber that seems to be pushing up the A long quick. They are going to gain the information. Call is potentially to watch flank, and they are going to go ahead and spot him out. That is the damage being done. Suppressive. That is going to be Z that also finds the flanking on chamber. Feels like they are going to identify the close players on art. Are going to fall off towards the B long. Does look like Jack is going to potentially take first contact and going to secure Operator. And it does look like we are also going to use Run It Back Trying to secure, secure some distance here on site. KO is going to find Charlie in terms of the ultimate. But will they be able to get bombed down? It is going to be an ultimate in terms of the re-aggression. Colby is going to be found for one. Two are going to be found by Charlie. We'll have to see if the swing comes through. One enemy remaining. And that is going to be Jack finding the shot. And that is going to be tying it up. 2-2 two -two on the side of UMW. Also, for those of you potentially joining late, we are going to reiterate that once again, my name is Mark Link, Director of Esports here at the University of Mary Washington. 
And we are always looking for any sort of volunteers, people interested in the program. Right now, offering competitive Valorant and Super Smash Brothers, but expanding into other games come spring. But also announcing our next competitive title that we will be recruiting for and having scheduled tryouts come tomorrow and potentially a sneak peek tonight. Have to stay tuned during those intermissions and see if you can potentially see the... Uh, Does look like the boys appear to know that the ultimate is Chamber. Unfortunately, he is not going to be found on the KO Knife TPs first, as he could look to re-aggress towards Long. Oh my gosh, and Jack with the killer double headshot through the smoke. We're going to stay live with him as he goes into the end of this round. Um, is going to go down wide open. UMD do UMW does recognize that they have the numbers advantage. Dog is going to come out. It does look like Astra is also going to recognize the potential here. Is going to be Jack that finds the third. And Jack that finds the fourth. Absolutely a great play on the side of Jack. And you know what? We are going to actually try out for the first time ever the replay functionality now available to us. Let's try it out here. Come out. It does look like Astra is also going to recognize the potential here. A great job holding steady. Finds the first. It's going to be Jack that finds the third. One enemy and Jack find that the finds second. the fourth. A great play by Absolutely Jack. Absolutely a great play. We are going to check in briefly with the scoreboard here as we do see it's going to be full rifles and full buys on the side of everything, but quickly. It's going to be KO that is ulting to push off of sight. It's going to be Colby that ulties as well. We're going to have to see who finds who here. As it does look like the team is going to fall off potentially towards a side. However, that is going to be Charlie being found. Is going to be traded out quickly by Mason. However, it is going to be a 2v4. The boys do have a good crossfire setup. But no luck, unfortunate. It sort of fell apart there towards the middle. However, a decent job at least trading out the kills. June Dubs, let's go NJCU. Hey, we, you know what? While obviously supporting UMW, a little bit biased in that factor, we love to see some opposing players in here obviously looking to support all other college streams programs and anything esports related so happy to have you on board and here with us tonight as we are live for game one on pearl does look like we are going to have the slow aggression towards mid prowler is going to force off of closed door there. He is going to potentially look to aggress. We'll have to see if he chooses to dog it. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and destroy the chamber trip. Making door a possibility. Not seeing much other. But it does look like... And that is going to be the pre-fire through the box. Too good to be true. And we are going to have Jack slowly pushing up towards A-side as well. Jack going to find one, but quickly traded. And it is going to be Charlie that finds one as well. And it's going to be a 2v4 on the side of UMW looking to push aggressively towards the A-side.
Colby is going to be found in the trade by Rivakis. Joke's over. You're dead. It is going to be a run it back to challenge. It's going to be opt. But it does look like it is going to be the flank of the sentry here. Found one and looking for more. That is going to be a killer flank by Mason here on A site. We love it so much that we want to see it again. And we shall here just momentarily on the replay cam. But it does look like it is going to be the flank of the sentry here. Found one and looking for more. That is going to be a absolutely a lovely play on the side of Mason. Got to get those highlights where you can. Super good to bait out the ultimate on the side of Fade. And it is going to be economically shambles. And it's going to be a half buy to full buy situation. And we will have to see how they choose you to play to it. Play, let's play. It does look like the aggression is to be coming out towards mid. We'll have to see how the uh, boys respond. Moving quickly as they can. They're going to slowly recognize that it is. It does look like it is going to be multiple on the flank. And it might just be an absolute slaughter coming out here. And that is going to be the cleanup. A quick pickup for Z and a good play on the side of UMW to recognize the mid-aggression off the Neon Ultimate. Does look like it's going to be more of a standard round here. Are going to be flashed on the mid, but we do look to take some mid control. There. And they are going to find both on the art a well-timed aggression here on the side of Mason and Z as we push into art quickly. Ultimate is going to go down, but we'll have to see if Jack wins the one-on-one -on -one in terms of the chamber. They are going to find one as Diamond Fies falls as well. And it is suddenly, quickly, a bad situation on the side of UMW. Colby is going to find one quick. As he does look to push Art, but unfortunately not turning in time. A good round on the side of NJCU. And a great push from the chamber to really pinch the team. I love Greedy Vekas. Absolutely. And Jack goes crazy. This is definitely a match for the ages. You know, both of these teams in the second highest division available within any CC level play. And UMW being only a year one school. Still remaining undefeated at the moment. And while N... <clears throat> Pardon? While NJCU is currently 0-2 on their season, the boys have done the research, and we respect them immensely, knowing the possibilities that they have in terms of their play. Does look like it is going to be double stuns out here on the side of Neon. Wall is going to fall here shortly. However, no one found yet on the initial contact. That is going to be Charlie going down on first. Fog is going to be found as well. As it is going to be Mason that flashes through, but unfortunately misses. It's going to be Z that finds one. Z that finds two. We're going to stay live with Z here as he's clearly getting the headshot angles. Z that finds three, the flash. Z that finds four. And Z that finds five. That is going to be the first UMW ace in school history. And we're going to have to watch that stay back. Live with Z here as he's clearly An getting insane the headshot angles. play on the side of Z. I am sure that Jack Z is that finds three the tilted flash. that Mason stole it earlier. But Z that finds four and Z great, that finds five. That play. is going to be wow, the first UMW first ace in school. 
And we're going to stay live with Z here as he's clearly... Broom Turtle, let's go clean. Absolutely. Where's the UMW Valorant montage? Unfortunately, we have not been able to make one yet. We have been so busy practicing, so busy scrimming, so busy focusing on what we need to improve on as a team to continue our success. We do have the clips, and that will surely be added to the highlight. However, expect one soon in the next week or two, especially after a play like that from Z. Is going to be Colby in a little bit of an awkward situation here. Oh, and the Toxic's low. Unfortunately, Chamber not found. Charlie is tucked, is going to find two. Make that three as well. Another great play here. Diamond is going to push for one. He is going to find. Charlie does look to re-aggress it. As Xander just absolutely swings it, feeling himself after that last round. And it's looking like it might be 4-8 here on the side of UMW offense here on Pearl. It does look like UMW here is going to be positioning outside of B long. We are going to have Chamber with the Judge playing mid here. Usually Chamber, an operator that we see, an agent rather, playing with an operator, generally holding towards long side, but a little bit of variation here or there. It is going to be Charlie that go ahead and pick up ultimate here as we walk up towards B long. Potentially looking to be, with it being the last round of the half, this is going to be UMW executing fast. Flash is going to come out quickly. And it is going to be one found by Charlie. Pushing for more deep. Kobe is going to be traded, but Diamond quickly to follow. That is going to be the bubble vandal. Attempting to do the damage. As it does look like the boys are going to stay tucked here. Molly is going to prevent. Molly is going to prevent. But it does look like we're going to be Molly posting as well. That is going to be one. Almost make that a second, but quickly trade it out. Ooh, finds the second, and suddenly this gets extremely difficult. But it is going to be Charlie that picks it up, securing the 4-8 as we go into pistol route here on the side of the second half. Switching sides. This has been an absolute bloodbath. I'm going to continue to drink some water because, oh my goodness, I'm going to need my voice if this goes to three. All right, does look like the boys are going to opt for a chamber on B side. With the fade holding kind of deeper back on A, but it does look like potentially a mid play coming out of here of UMW. We'll have to stay live with this and see what occurs. Could potentially be a knife into a flash. We'll have to see how it goes. It's going to be a knife that moves up. Knife potentially finds one. Orb is going to come through as well, and it does look like it could be a flash aggressive play out mid. Chamber is going to be found as we do trade one for one. Make that almost one for two. However, we are going to fall off here. We're going to be... We're going to be live with Xander as he quickly is aggressed, but does and is able to trade one, and that is going to make it a 3v3. Looks like Charlie opting to play slow, but unfortunately is going to find... And it is going to be the trade two for two, and we're going to have to see how the boys play this one re-aggressing from Art. Boys, probably assuming that at least one is a main. Know that they might have to take the first contact. It's going to be the flash, and it does look like it is going to be the one for one trade. Jack trying to at least get it to half, but overall, a good play. And a good attempt on the side of UMW, but a great round on the side of NJCU.
making it potentially a conversion into a few round streak here on the second half. We'll put them right back in this game. Does look like they're going to elect to go long. A good play given the gun and equipment advantage on their side. Seth Moto says Z money. Absolutely after that ace. Bunch of snakeheads in the chat. That is an insane play. And it does look like one. Jack just absolutely eats the team flash. We'll have to see how long it takes for the boys to recognize that this is probably a B long take. Jack going to probably go ahead and make the call now that they are up B. As we're going to see the fast rotate. Does have the flank here. It's going to be very methodical and nice slow play here. Recognizing there could potentially be one more long. Very well played on them. But the Astra Smokes, this is just going to be so oppressive. They are going to recognize that it is indeed one. Is going to be good for one. But it is going to be quickly picked up. Greedy Vickus picking up Colby with the scout. And we're going to be all tied up here in terms of economy. Looking for a full buy into the bonus round on the side of NJCU. Will be interesting to see how they elect to use this Ares. Potentially in a quick A main take. Absolutely love the Neon pick on Pearl. The ability to move around quickly has been something that has favored them here on defense. The ability to rotate. He is going to aggress on mid, but is going to find two. Does look like it is a full team rotate. But the boy's going to quickly recognize that it might not be all it's cooped up to be. And actually, I think the first person that's potentially looking to take contact here is going to be Colby. That does find one. Toxins going up. We'll have to see who wins the the dance battle. Healing trip has been broken as well. Toxin screen down. Diamond is going to be found. And it is going to be Charlie found as well. Planted. Last player standing. Unfortunately, Colby unable to find it, and it's going to be up to Jack here to do some economic damage. Absolutely can put the kill board up a little bit longer in between rounds. Thank you for the feedback. Appreciate that. More than happy to do it. Does look like Jack is going to be saving here. As it is going to be a potential full buy. And it does look like the Ares is going to be traded out on the side of Yanbon. Potentially picking it up again. Really considering whether or not they want to buy up here. It's going to be almost a full eco other than the one rifle on Jack on the side of UMW defense here. As we go into round 16. It's going to be the knife that is thrown out, spotting nobody. Oh, 
And it is going to be Mason that finds the first kill here. And while time is kicking away, Charlie is also going to find one as well. Bobby's going to potentially look to re-aggress. Onto Art with them. As it is going to be Mason finding another one. And this round is quickly falling apart here. Justice is going to find one, but we'll have to see what happens when that wall comes down. One enemy remaining. Diamond is going to make get three. And that is going to be Jack with the pickup securing the round of insane eco on the side of UMW. An insane shot coming out of doors by Mason onto the enemy chamber. The real question is, where does this announcement sound come from? There is no speaker anywhere. Does look like it's going to be a default spread here on the side of UMW for defense, as it does also look like mid aggression on the side of offense. Real question here is who will have the read? the run it back used finding one almost finding two down mid It's going to be one. Unfortunately, not traded on the side of art, and that is going to be a 2v2, potentially looking for the retake. The damage has been done. However, pretty equalized across the board. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. It's going to be chamber pushing deep into art here. Face your fear! One enemy remaining. Going Jack gonna find the first. Last player standing. Oh, it's gonna be Jack falling in the 1v1 versus Chamber. Unfortunate ending there as we do go to the 2v1 and quickly the OV1. A great play out of the enemy Chamber in terms of pushing for the information. by coming out on the side of UMW as it is going to be full rifles on the side of offensive. They are going to take some space on mid here. Unfortunately, bomb has been left. Now Jack pushing up very aggressively. They found my trap. They he is going to grab orb. This will allow him to TP back making this economy round potentially more dangerous. Dak deciding to rotate towards the deep A side for the hold. So the boys really have not seen anything this round. You are divided! I am pissed! You are powerless! Teleport ready. It's going to be wound, but quickly traded. 
And this is going to be a quick 2v3. Jack is going to find one, potentially finding the other as well. He is lagged, and it does look like the stick is going to come out. Jack is going to be found one, but the defuse is going to come through with Xander with the pickup, securing the 10th route on the side of UMW as we go into round 19. It does look like it is going to be an offensive attacker timeout. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the replay for our most recent highlight. And it is going to be, we're going to stay live with Z here as he's clearly getting the headshot and there's Ace once again. An absolutely insane play. Z that finds the three, the flash. Good positioning. Z that finds four, and Z Absolute that finds five. That is going headshots. to be the Find first UMW. Like I said, after the conclusion of this game and in the intermission between game one and two, there will be a light teaser for those still watching regarding as to what could be our third competitive title offered here at the University of Mary Washington. Already have players interested in this title. Definitely know that we're going to be having a competitive team, not only in this game, but other games as well. However, you being here live means you get the teaser first. You want to play? Let's play. And it does look like it is going to be op v op, potentially on long. I have to see how Jack opts to hold it. Jack's going to elect to hold it on the headshot angle. Potentially the slow pick. Did see the head, but unfortunately, not going to get the pick. One is going to be pushing close. The second does come out. Jack is going to flick down and is going to do the damage. But unfortunately... Is it going to be the ultimate damage? Neon is potentially through. And it's not going to be found by Jack, but Diamond is going to get the trade. Charlie is going to die behind from mid as well. As we are going to be live with Xander, who does find one. Charlie looking to take... Mason looking to take the aggression, but is going to recognize that he is falling off. Seconds left. Spike planted. That is going to be Mason finding the first kill, but it is going to be tucked. It's going to be a 1v2 here. Both players playing extremely off-site. As it is going to be Dog, a nice effort, but unfortunately, not going to happen. Mason was able to find the chamber, though. Z, unfortunately, getting taken out from water. An unlikely angle. Oh, and look, there is going to be a Kermit Crab in there. We saw that. Riot Games always putting in all of their little Easter eggs throughout the map, such as the giant fish that is slowly circling Pearl. Is going to be a heavy A side presence here on the side of the attack. Looks like it might. No. And Charlie is going to be found from art side. Face your fear! Them. 
Mason is going to find one. A big pickup for him. Unable to find the second. Oh, it is going to be the absolute conga slide push and pull from the Astra there to secure the round. A great play and a good usage of utility. Is going to be a full buy here on both teams as we are 10-10. An intense matchup here on game one. We are just getting started here. Does look like potential aggro on A main. Watch your eyes. Uh. It's going to be the body block that comes through. And it's going to be Charlie choosing to fall off. The one-for-ones have been traded. Fade for Astra. A good trade, however, as now there is not going to be any smokes for the offensive take. Only potentially the neon wall. We also are going to stay live with Charlie as he does have ultimate and has healed up. Since we last saw him push aggressively on A-side. Hey. Potentially chamber to chamber fight. And it is going to be Jack that finds the one. Falling back is going to make it a 3v4 here. As Colby is staying absolutely tucked on B-side. 30 seconds left. Is going to be one, is going to be two, and the quick pickup, a absolutely well-read round on the side of UMW, all starting from the aggression. However, almost close body block on the side of Xander and Charlie on the A side push. It is a door full of plates here. Interesting. Does look like it's going to be a three-side aggression here. Come on, let's go. Flash. Ultimate is going to push for one and find some damage, but Diamond is going to trade one for one. Watch your eyes. And it is going to be electing to fall back. Don't get in my way. According to stream, we may have potentially lost you there for a moment. I'm going to just pause briefly to check on that. I'm going to pull it up briefly on my phone just to make sure. You are divided! Spike planted. Last player standing. Bring them down. It does appear that the stream is still live. We are going to be live with Xander in a 1v4 situation. We unfortunately did not see how the round fell apart. But know that it did an extremely hard round here with the Astro Ball up. Nice, nice. It's going to be Xander with the damage in terms of the pickup on one. 
is going to run for his life and is going to look to save the rifle. does appear that we are once again regaining viewers. Apologies about that. We do not know what occurred. Potentially a slight outage there in terms of the internet, but welcome back for all of those watching as we're tied 11-11, going into the end and final few rounds here on Map 1 Pearl. It's going to be a one-for-one one trade. Make that a quick two-for-two. Two. And Colby is going to fall off towards doorside. But Jack, extremely well pushed, has the information. Alex to wait. Is going to find one and is going to find two. A great play by Jack. The patience insane. An important round here, too, as the wall is going to come up from Colby to only further delay. Potentially looking over the smoke as well at the headshot angle. Now with it being a KO, could potentially look to pop flash. Is not going to see him immediately, and we'll have to see how we choose to elect on two pillar. Pop flash is going to come out. Colby is going to put down the suppression. Legendary pop flash comes through as well, but that is going to be Colby with the pickup. Let's go. The boys getting definitely excited here on match point. Match point. And it does look like it is going to be a positional A side take on the side of NJCU. As the eye is going to come out, this would be devastating if it's spotted, but unfortunately is not going to make it. You can see the frustration on Xander's face there. Even Michael Jordan misses free throws in basketball. It's all good. Is looking like the boy slowly electing to start retaking space. Is gonna dog for the aggression. Not going to find it on left side. Now. Boys are gonna recognize the potential loss of art. And doing a good job utility wise to ensure that. I does look to potentially spot out Astra, but it is gonna be Chamber pushing aggressively here. It's going to be found in Cubby. It's going to be Z with the pickup on one. 30 seconds left. But it is going to be a quick spray down, but a quick flank as well. And just like that, we are suddenly in a 2v2 situation. And it is going to be Diamond with the pickup as well. It's going to be from Art's side. And it is going to be Colby with the pickup. An intense map one, but it is going to happen. And we will be right back momentarily.
The question is, did you see it? There was one image unlike the others. And that will be our third competitive title being announced tomorrow on Twitter at noon. If you saw it, be quiet. Don't say anything.
And we are back after that intense game one. UMW just barely squeezing out the victory there. Such a close map, 11 to 11. A valiant effort on the side of NJCU, but ultimately falling in the last round. Definitely some highlight worthy plays there. We're talking about Xander's ace, Jack's push, and just absolute straight headshots on both sides of the team. You can tell that both came to play. As we're looking to hear transition to ascent, UMW going to be starting on the side of defense with NJCU attacking. And we'll have to see how that pans out in just a moment. In the meantime, wanted to remind y'all watching to please go ahead and follow us on all of our social media so you can stay live and up to date with what we are up to. Recently, myself, I just attended the JCC Community College LAN with Stay Plugged In in Smithfield, North Carolina this weekend. Saw a lot of great up-and-coming talent, both in the Valorant, Rocket League, and Super Smash scene. Definitely looking to highly recruit from those players, but also looking to recruit you as well. Fill out our recruit form on our socials or down below in our panel, and we would love to talk to you about potentially playing collegiate-level esports for the University of Mary Washington. Currently offering Valorant, Super Smash Brothers, but also expanding into other titles, such as League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rocket League, and others. For anything UMW-related news, always check our Twitter first. That is where we are most active. And looking to post our first YouTube video ever sometime this week. And we are back here as we are going live with map two ascent as it is going to be UMW defending while NJCU looks to attack. Already looking here at the agent picks, we are going to see <laughs> both a neon hover and also a chamber hover potentially. Um, but it looks like we are going to ultimately not lock those in, potentially just trolling the coach, yours truly here. Um, but it also does look like N NJCU is uh, taking their time to decide. Jan Bond potentially has the Sova lineups, and that should be interesting to kind of see how that all pans out. Definitely interested to see here as NJCU has played this map previously within the collegiate scene. However, this would be the, I believe, first appearance of this within UMW Collegiate's season here in the NECC. All we can hope is that Yanban is not a Odin and Sova Dart one trick. That would be absolutely oppressive on the B Choose side of the map. Agent. As we do look like we're still slightly delayed here in terms of locking in. All right, and that is going to be team comps locked in. We are going to have Mason on KO, Xander on the fade, Jack on chamber, Colby on the omen, and last but not least, Brandon subbing in for Charlie on the raise. Nothing but cloudy skies here on Ascent as we look to start off in game number two. We'll be very interested to see how the attacking side chooses to push into the defense of the UMW. And it does look like potentially going to be a B start here. As we are going to find all five outside of tiles.
It's going to be Xander that is prepped to throw the informational eye to start us off. I'll find you. Eye is not going to spot anyone, but that does not mean they're there. A very quiet walk up on the side of B. I'll have to see if Brandon elects to Boombot or if he's going to just continue with the Jiggle Peak. It does look like the information is going to be gathered. And it is going to be a nade coming out. Unfortunately spammed through. It's going to find one. Xander does look to stay alive, but unfortunately found in the 3v4 retake. Spike planted. One is going to be spotted E main. And it is going to be two from CT spawn. We'll have to see. If Jack wins his one. It does look like the two others are aggressing quickly. That is going to be Mason finding the first. And potentially Jack to follow, but unfortunately not going to. But the TP is going to come out right in front of Mason's face. And just like that, this round is potential. And that is going to be a pop flash out of the very low-hanging omen smoke. A good round on the side of offense for the attack. Although read well by the side of UMW, unable to respond quickly enough. And it is going to be the buy coming out. We'll have to see how UMW chooses to defend here. Are they going to do your average split or are they going to look to stack a site? Does look like potentially Jack will be taking the aggressive angle with the push. Is not going to buy any bullets, however, and this is extremely crazy. I do like the aggression. However, is going to be quickly spotted. That is going to be two picked up. Make that three make it four. And with only one person. It does look like... Xander is going to find one and find the rifle. Spike planted. As he is going to look to opt to potentially move towards Cat and do some damage. The Marshal, an extremely quick aiming weapon. However, not what is ultimately needed here in terms of the retake. It's going to be the slow push from Jet come midside. And it's going to be the first headshot to found. But unfortunately, that is going to be it. Still good economic damage done. Was a collat waiting to happen, as both did swing. However, one crouched, so maybe not. Is going to be a full buy round with two rifles bought up on the side of NJCU. Let's see how they opt to play the bonus. Does look like it. it's going to be some mid control taken out of here in terms of the chamber holding cat and Omen slowly aggressing onto the cat walk. Bombody is not going to find anyone. However, Xander is going to find one on the dog as Mason gets the quick aggression towards mid to go one for one. It's going to be Brandon with the nade out. But he is going to find one. Is quickly able to get behind dice. Is not going to be spammed through. An insane ability by Brandon to stay alive. Creating so much pressure here. It's going to be Jack pushing. And is tucked extremely closely on the mid. Still waiting. I'll find you. Jump Eye is going to be successful in spawning, recognizing that the players are still a main side. 30 seconds left. We are live with Jack here as the enemy players do look potentially to be rotating. One potentially pushed up mid for the aggression. And it is going to be Jack, unfortunately, timing. 10 seconds left.
And that is going to be time, unfortunately. Bomb not able to go down. That is going to be the damage, and Omen is going to stay alive. Unfortunately, unable to plant the spike fast enough. It is going to be the boys absolutely screaming across the opposite side of the room. You can hear them live on the cams. And that is why we are having a three-minute delay here. No worries on the sides of them hearing me. They are well aware and listening to extremely loud gameplay in those soundproof headphones. It does look like the early aggression from the Omen come mid is going to be coming up. And the damage is going to be done. Colby is able to find one. Mason finding the second as well. However, Jack going to recognize potentially one close on the B. And is going to find it with the stinger and TPs away quickly to the safety of stairs. Live with Mason as he takes the aggression towards side. But Xander is going to be there for the two-piece cleanup. A great round on the side of UMW only losing one. Does look like we're going to have some nade strategies coming out from the side of A. Unfortunately, none going to be found as Kobe is forced off mid with the smoke. Cover going out. It's going to be the footstep that is heard towards B side. And they know that it is a pretty standard spread here across the board. Absolutely be the omen that is tucked. But unfortunately traded quickly. Within tree. We'll have to see how... Xander elects to play this. Is going to find at least one. If not two, is only able to find one. But still good damage done. Would have definitely been overrun on the side of Jen. And it is going to be a 3v3 retake. And it does look like it is going to be the potential KO ult coming out. KO ult and the pop flash. As we are going to find a one for one in terms of the trade. Flank has been heard as well. Bomb is going to be held here by Mason. It's going to be fine for one. is just going to hold it. An insane play by Mason to read the defense effectively. And a good job in letting him live as well. Economically, that does a lot of damage in terms of him not getting the loss bonus. Look like the aggression is going to come out in terms of scouting for the mid. Okay. We are going to see Jack pushing aggressively. He is going to get one, but unfortunately traded with the second. Raze being Brandon is going to find the trade on Cat as well, making this a 3v3. We'll have to see if Colby calls it. Colby unfortunately able to get the swing quickly. And that is going to be the potential aggressive push. Oh, but they are going to hear it on Cat's side. Could Brandon potentially look to tuck? Looks like they are going to elect to rotate. 
Xander being extremely careful while clearing CT spawn, recognizing their potential to have pushed up mid market, and they could be anywhere. The two are going to reconvene together as they look to slow clear. A lot of ultimates here could be in play. Especially with the raise ultimate, nothing is out of the picture quite yet. Granite is going to take first contact and is going to win it. Last player standing. Granite is going to find the one. Pushing back quickly, but he does have to understand time. One enemy remaining. The nade is going to find him and he should be able to defuse in time. We will have to see if timing he gets it. And that is going to be an insane play by Brandon. And we're going to go ahead and throw that up on the replay cam. Pushing back quickly, but Absolute he does have to understand time. play with the raise nade, followed by the combination ulti to kill The nade both. is going to find him, and he should be able to defuse in time. We will have to see if timing he gets it. And it does look like an attacking timeout is going to come through. We are briefly going to pause. There. Overall, a great side so far on both offense and defense. A great ability and great effort being shown out of both teams. We are back at the conclusion of that timeout, and we're going to have to go ahead and check the economy and check the stats on everybody. See how we are doing here as we move into round seven on the first half of map two. You want to play? Let's play. Does look like a potentially aggressive push here. Flash. Amber Ultimate is going to come out. Push is going to be found. And Molly also going to do a good job. Z is going to get traded. However, both chamber ultimates now in play. The absolute long con flank here. As it is going to be the quick pickup. Make that one. Make that two on the side of Mason. Flash is going to go out. But the information has been gathered. And that is what is crucial. An absolutely aggressive angle here taken by Jack. Jack's got the deep, long angle here. As we do That's look to up. see the potential mid-aggression. Brandon is going to find one, down, mid. but unfortunately traded. Left. Shadows traveling. And that is going to be Colby tucked onto the A site. A good job and a great hold by Jack and a great flank by Mason. dies in the chaos the amount of smokes the omen definitely doing the damage there Bam. 
is going to be Xander with the re-aggression and the eye that is going to come out. Is a 3v3 here. Are going to recognize that he is potentially close. They're going to be live with Colby that takes the aggressive angle first. Colby not going to, uh, unable to find any. Could potentially be time running out here on the side of UMW. And that is going to unfortunately be an attacker side round. A great play. A wonderful TP on the side of Omen. Justin doing his team a great service there, taking that amount of space and quickly followed up by the rest of the team on the short side of B. For those of you potentially just joining us, my name is Mark Link and I'm the director of esports here at the University of Mary Washington. We took map one on pearl in a close head-to-head -head battle only ending 11 to 13 but here on map two starting off strong on defense Bring them down. this is our necc regular season match week three we are live here with brandon a very aggressive angle here taken i think that the understanding is that it is a side We'll have to see how much damage Brandon can opt to do. The drone ult is coming out, and it is going to only spot. Brandon potentially looking to be tucked. Is going to find two. Make that three. Almost four. And Brandon is definitely feeling himself this game. Ultimate is going to come out, but unfortunately shock darted. Is going to be Mason with the push through. And Mason with the absolute spray into wine, reading him like a book. But we are going to throw it back 100% there to the play that defined it. Brandon with the insane tuck. Brandon getting the almost near collapse. Is going to find two. Make that third. three. Almost four, and ult. Brandon is definitely feeling himself Shock this Dark game. Is going to go ahead and find the elimination. Ultimate is going to come, him, but still a great hold, doing a great job of playing the map. We've seen him on B, we've seen him on A, doing his job very well here. Top fragging the team as the substitute coming in. That's a good look. That is going to be knives out. We do see the knives out mid. Colby is going to be found. As TPs are going to be traded left side, Kobe is going to be able to find one, and Brandon is going to find two, making it an unsuccessful push in the mid and valiant attempt as the double TPs make everybody confused. Are going to be live with Brandon as he pushes out. And he is going to find the quick headshot as well. Definitely feeling himself this match. One enemy Colby remaining. is going to get the pickup as well. It's going to be Brandon potentially looking. To push out, but Mason is going to find him tucked in the corner. Bomb down, and that is going to be 7-3. A great half coming out of the side of UMW. Working together well. Brandon and Colby finding their strides here. Does look like the side of offense is going to be panned out, looking to aggressively take on to B. Boombot is going to is going to come out. Brandon doing his best to not swing this too aggressively is going to find one. Potentially looking to make that a second, but unfortunately is not going to be able to pen the wall. Mason is tucked valiantly on site, and we will have to see. But Mason, unfortunately, found in the headshot, and that is going to make this a 3v4 for the retake. Spike planted. Lots of utility out here. Spike 
Smoke attempted to go down towards the chamber ultimate, but ultimately potentially missed. Grenade! That's going to be Brandon. That's going to lob the, the grenade left side. No damage found. going to be one found. Make that two, and it is going to be a 1v1. Colby unable to find it. However, Jet is going to actually able to dash away and live. But it is going to be full buys coming out on both sides. Economies have been well all game. But it is going to have to be some light armors actually coming out on the side of NJCU. Finding their way slowly back into the second half there. It'll be good for them if they're able to pull out the 7-5, making defense a lot easier as we go into pistol round second half right after this. It's going to be Xander picking up the operator. First time this series. Holding it onto the deep. Hasn't been spotted out. But it is going to be Jack that is found. Grenade ultimately is going to be found. Some damage done, but not a lot. Z is going to find one. A good job of playing tucked. Kobe jumps scouting for information. Potentially from the mid. Mason is going to find two. An insane spray through the smoke there to make this a much more doable round. Pop Flash is going to come out finding one. But Bomb is going to have been planted. A good job by the Omen to TP away, trying to make the effort. But it does look like Colby is going to be ready to ult for the information as he sees it. And it is going to be Mason with the crispy 4K. A great, great shot through the smoke. And a good job there finding up the pick that mattered. Making it 8-4 to four as we go into offensive side pistol round. Switching sides. Absolutely insane game here out of Mason. 15 and 8, almost double digits, but definitely player of the game currently sitting with Brandon. Insane defensive capabilities. Hay alone has allowed for two of the UMW rounds in terms of defense. And we'll have to see how that continues here and translate into offense as we're looking for potential fast sight on B. Does look to be some shock darts and recons for information. However, no aggressive pushing here on the side of NJCU will mean they don't have any information on Cat or potentially a short. Boombot will not be thrown. However, they have to understand that potentially is tucked close. Mason is going to see it. Is going to find the one. Quickly traded, but is going to find the second as well. It is going to be a three for three. But actually, a quick potential rotate could potentially look to read this well. Chamber is looking to fall off. No audio cues here. The full sprint coming A side. And JCU suspecting something now. The chamber does re-aggress towards A short. Unaware of where they could have gone. UMW potentially pulls a, a Houdini here. 30 seconds left. With only 30 seconds left. We will have to see. 
And it is going to be the eye that spots, but unfortunately, potentially not close. Is going to be the close, and it is going to be the quick trade here, but it is going to be Jack with the pickup. And he is going to have to cover for the bomb plant. Spike is going to go down. Door is going to be closed. However, Jack, very low HP. Mason does have the flash. Mason does have the flash, and he's going to use it. Great. That is going to be another 4K for Mason. While not the cleanest on the pistol and doing an insane job of the trades. Have to give props to the chamber holding close there. Definitely gave the boys the scares. They came through a short, almost making the difference in the round. He was just a little bit closer, could have potentially found two. That could have been a pistol round to them. Now, with full buys coming out here, we are going to have to see. It does not look like they elect to force out, but they are looking to play extremely aggressive on mid. As the smoke comes out, we're going to have to see how they choose to peek it. That is going to be almost four of them seen. That is going to be a quick rifle exchange as well. The nade lobbed. Doing the damage, but Brandon is going to double satchel out of there and fall off. A good job by Xander holding the ground with two. It is going to be Brandon holding an extreme off angle. That TP is going to make the difference, but Brandon able to find both. Now we are going to be live with Mason as he is going to be peeking correctly. And that is going to be the headshot that matters. Mason with the cleanup doing absolute work. Nine. Of the last three rounds kills have been by Mason, and it looks like a defensive timeout is going to be called here on the side of NJCU. This round determines everything. This round determines their economy, and more importantly, determines whether or not they can fight their way back into this game. A really good offensive half here on the side of UMW. Star once again being Brandon, dying for the trades, but Mason with the frags. Other notable plays, Colby tucking tight on Jen to secure the round A site, and Xander finding the gunplay. While the op has not come into play yet with Jack, doing a good job of taking space on A side where it matters and B side where it counts, preventing a lot of those pushes here on defense. And we'll have to see if that, if that, if they've done enough, if the boys have potentially done enough to break the economy here. It is going to be the bonus. And if the boys win this round, there is potential for the game to be over. And it does look like the boys are going to opt for an A side take. Full util, however, SMG heavy. Potentially looking to be a cat take. We are going to be live with Jack. With the Stinger. Potentially looking to aggress onto cat with Deagle. Is going to peek with the Spectre. Does throw the gun instead. And it does look like it's a good execute forward. Absolute silence. They are going to find the rifle mid. And that is going to be the quick aggression here. Jack with the flank that matters. Could potentially be red. However, this could go wrong. And it's going to be up to the stinger. Close range is not going to find it. A great round getting onto site. But however, the pinch from A main. A great job on the side of the defense to push two. Tucked close, wine, and close. And also expecting the flank. An insane play by them, a really good read, and this will at least equalize us out to rifles as we go into round 16.
Does look like it's going to be a stock standard start. The boys seeing what information can be gathered. Doesn't look like anything is going to be found on any side. However, a very aggressive walk up here. Mason is taking space on mid. It's going to be Jack with the bait. Unable to find one, but it is the two. We are going to find one with Brandon on the trade. Z is also going to find the close aggro push. Smoke is going to come out as well. And the knife as they fall off. Looks like the boys will be electing. As Brandon absolutely aggros into Jen. Is he going to check dice? He does, but unfortunately gets found. Trade is going to go one for one. The bomb is going to go down on back Jen. 30 seconds left. Z, worry of the flank, but unfortunately, not there. Is Box, and that is going to be Xander with the quick pickup. Although watching the flank still made it matter, those picks towards A main side were crucial for that round success. We will have to see what NJCU elects to do. Will they force buy here or will they save for the 12? If they save for the 12, UMW will be on match point. However, they will have a better buy and a better chance to potentially hold the line. For those of you now joining us, this is map two. UMW leading 1-0 and 11 rounds up here on the side of offense. A great first defensive half as they potentially look to close it in 2-0 fashion here. Pop Flash is going to come out, and that is going to secure at least a alley. Brandon, feeling himself all game, is going to boom bot. However, not going to double satchel out this time. And it does look like this is going to be an a site execute. The Flash does come out. And we are going to find two on site quickly. And that is going to be bomb planted. Jack potentially looking to take aggression towards tree. Doesn't want to be found out here. Is going to teleport away safely. It's going to be Xander that finds one. one enemy remaining. It's going to be Mason with the swing that finds two. And it is going to be Mason that finds three as well. You can run, but you can't hide the shotgun ineffective when they don't walk through the doorway. And it's going to be match point here for UMW and game point as we look to potentially close it 2-0. And it is going to be a shambles by on the side of NJCU. We will have to see how they elect to hold. Do they stack a site? It does not appear so. It looks like they're potentially looking to apply a little bit of mid pressure. Could work in their favor here as UMW is set up for the full site B execute. And we are going to be live with Justin as he pushes up aggressively. It's going to smoke, but it is Mason with the ultimate. Ready or not, here they come. And it is going to be Mason that finds the first. Sight itself is clear. Brandon potentially pushing too far, but is going to be knifed out. Mason is ready for the flash, but we have two ultimates in play on the side of NJCU. Lex to back up. Dash is going to be heard as we are going to be having two playing site. Colby is going to find one and potentially one that matters. Is going to TP to delay the time. As it is going to be Colby with one, but unfortunately not able to find the second. The Colby clutch mattering. 
but unfortunately not coming through there on potentially the last round. Is going to be still a semi-shambles buy here. A Guardian potentially picked up. Nope, but Alex for the Bulldog, full shield. We are going to see an Operator on the chamber here. Justin potentially looking to apply some pressure towards the mid. Is going to be an op v op battle, and he is going to repeat, but Jack unfortunately going to go down. Quick trade in from Diamond, as the TP is going to make Justin safe. TPing off-site mid with the op. Xander potentially going to find himself in a battle here. Battle of headshots, but it is going to be Mason that picks up the fight on tree. And just like that, it is going to be a 3v4. Xander doing his due diligence to ensure, but is going to find the headshot that matters. Entry into sight, cat security. It's going to be a 4v2 in the post plant here, and the boy is looking to finish it. Mason closing door, but also pushing aggressively. Could potentially find the man out. Is going to see the headshot, but unfortunately, it isn't going to matter. Is going to be the full blind. Is going to be Brandon in the off angle. Potentially looking to take one, take two. But that is going to be Xander with the cleanup. A quick 13-6 to six here on Ascent defense side. Doing a great job. A valiant effort on the side of NJCU, but ultimately UMW Esports finishing strong. That is going to be a quick and effective 2-0. Game one definitely could have been anyone's game. Mad props to the opponents for playing both mid doors and A art correctly. It was extremely hard to read where they were positioning, how it was going. But ultimately, a great job by UMW to be able to read the difference, make the difference, and ultimately remain undefeated here in their first season in the NECC. 3-0 in the regular, 4-0 in the preseason. Once again, I was your commentator, streamer. I was everything. I am Mark Link, the director of esports here at the University of Mary Washington. And if you are at all interested in collegiate esports, please reach out to us. We will be a top-tier team looking for Valorant, currently Ascendant 2 average across the board, and looking to make a continued name for ourselves here, locally within Virginia, but also on the East Coast. That is going to be all for me, as we are not going to go to Map 3. But other than that, I want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. Remind you all to follow us on all of our social medias to stay up to date on all of our games. But other than that, this is me saying good night and absolute GG.
sent me. 